Human beings are social creatures. Evidence suggests that without social interaction, there are negative impacts on both physical and mental health. And seniors, due to their aging associated challenges, suffer the most. If you've never been lonely, you don't realize what it is like. It feels as though you've been dumped in the deep end and there's nobody there to rescue you. I don't think you'll ever get used to it. You know, it's always loneliness. Since both our grandparents live in India and we don't have much social interaction with them, we realized that there is a big social gap between senior citizens and our generation. We decided to research this topic in depth for our project. 46 million seniors live in the United States. In Norfolk County, Massachusetts, there are about 120,000 seniors that are aged 65 and above. Upon talking to seniors living in our neighborhood, we learned that a lot of them struggle to use modern electronic devices, such as smartphones and computers. This lack of knowledge concerning current technology is the reason for their infrequent interaction with our generation. Seniors face many problems in their daily life, including physical, mental, financial, and a lack of social engagement. We realized that knowledge of modern electronic devices, such as computers and smartphones, would not only provide a solution to their problems, but also help them in understanding it better. How might we, the Kent Community Problem Solving Team, Project SMILE, assist seniors and bridge the social gap between the older and younger generations in the town of Canton so that they can thrive socially, especially in today's technology-heavy society in the year 2020 and beyond? To achieve our goals, we outlined an action plan and focused our efforts on two main areas. First, to bridge the social gap between seniors and the younger generation, and second, to assist senior citizens with their technological challenges. We realized that we have three major obstacles. We have limited time due to school and homework, limited personnel as our team includes two people, and lastly, lack of funding or financial support. To raise awareness about our project and seek community support, we organized multiple events. We also published multiple articles in the local newspaper, held a TV interview, and used our Facebook page and website to reach out to the community. Additionally, we met with the town selectmen, the school committee members, and the Galvin Middle School principal to discuss our project and seek their guidance. To socially engage and build a bond with senior citizens, we organized several recreational activities. We organized an art workshop where we drew a symbolic bridge to fill the gap between seniors and children. We organized cooking sessions at senior centers in our community. We also organized cultural events such as Indian dance performance and piano concert. Technology is one of the major challenges that seniors face in their day-to-day -day lives. We organize technology help sessions on a weekly basis at Cornerstone, the Kent Council on Aging, and Brightview to provide solutions to the seniors' technology problems. We also created and donated technology help guides to the senior centers. Through raffle and donations, we collected $575 that we use for our events and supplies. COVID-19 was a big obstacle for us, as seniors were the most affected. Older adults and people who have severe chronic medical conditions like heart, lung, or kidney disease, or diabetes may be at higher risk for severe illness from COVID-19. Not being able to visit them, we were very sad and worried about their well-being. Keeping their health as our top priority, we reached out to them using phone calls to check their well-being and provide technology help. We also made technology help videos and shared them on our Facebook page. We got a donation of 250 masks and also made some masks by hand, which we then donated to the seniors in our community to keep them safe. During our 35 technology help sessions, we had more than 200 interactions with seniors. We provided solutions for more than 500 questions. We donated three technology help guides and more than 250 face masks. Feedback from seniors showed an improvement in their basic technology skills. They are now able to make video calls, use text messaging, and social media on their phone or tablet. All these skills became very useful during the current situation of social distancing and quarantine. The people that have participated in it have been so helpful to the residents here. I certainly have benefited from this Project Smile. Thank you seniors for working with us. Project Smile's got your back.